While working in Excel, you're likely to run into some errors. These errors show up in your Excel cells and make your worksheets look really bad. In this video, I will first show you the types of errors that you're likely to encounter. And then I will show you how you can hide these errors in your Excel sheets. So if you're ready, let's dive in. First, let's take a look at the types of errors that you will encounter. There are various types of errors that show up. These errors include hashtag name error, which occurs when you have the wrong name in your column or something is wrong with your formula. Hashtag ref error, which occurs when there is a problem in the reference of the cell. Hashtag div divided by zero error happens when you're dividing a number by a zero. Hashtag value error generally happens when you have a lookup error. Hashtag NA error occurs when the value cannot be found in the reference data. Generally happens when you are using VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, or MATCH. Hashtag number error occurs when there is a number that is not a valid number. So your formula is calculating something and it can't find a valid number as an answer. And then there is null error that occurs when there is a typo in your formula, generally when you're using an incorrect operator. Some of these errors are likely due to a problem in a formula that you're using. So in that case, you have to go fix those issues. While other errors can occur when everything else is correct, they just happen because of the way your data is. In those cases where the error occurs, even when everything is correct, you want to hide those errors. In order to achieve that, you can use a function called if error. If error takes two values. First one is the value that it's checking. And second is the value that it will return if there is an error. So let's look in Excel and see how it works. Here I'm in Excel. This is the formula that's returning division by zero. There are number of conversions divided by number of clicks. And that is the formula. So this is the value that we need to evaluate. And if there is an error, then we can pass a value that says not available. You can pass anything, including an empty string. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to leave this formula as it is because that's the one we will be evaluating. So go ahead and type if error. And now it also shows you there are two values that are required. So this is our first value and then comma. And what do we want to pass if there is an error? You can do empty string or any other string or number if you would like. I'm going to pass a value not available. So NA. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. So now you can see it's passing NA. What if I just wanted to pass an empty string? I'll just clear this NA out and now there is an empty string. You can also pass a zero if that's what you desire. In that case, you don't need to have two codes. You can simply type in a number zero. So here we're saying if this evaluates into an error, then pass this value. Else, pass the value of this function. Go ahead and hit enter. And here it is. Let's make sure this logic will work for other rows where there are values for clicks. So I'm going to copy this formula and paste it in line one, line two, and line three. As you can see, it worked fine for these ones and here it returned zero. And this is how you suppress the values or change the values when an error occurs. It doesn't matter the type of error that occurs. I hope you enjoyed this video, but before you move on to the next video, please make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon so that you never miss any new videos from me. Also, don't forget to like this video and check the description of this video for some important links.